welcome to the Animals of Universe. Yeah, sorry. Welcome to Analysis. We're looking at Santorini's. Hence the awful Italian attempt at an Italian accent. Santorini's is, uh... well, let's just look at the quote. Did you have enough to eat? My mum asked Tom. Tom patted his stomach. Burgers and dogs and chicken. Not as good as your chicken, of course. Actually, your father cooked. He cooked by calling Gourmet Express and having it delivered. But I did microwave the sauce, my dad said. That counts as cooking. Tom winked at my dad. Well, the stuff at the barbecue had to be better than dad's chicken. Good thing I ate there. Just for that, you get no dessert, my dad said. And it's cheesecake from Santorini's. Oh, Santorini's, Tom groaned. I take it back. I apologize. I grovel. I beg. I love Santorini's. So now we uncover the mystery of the Santorini's. <laughs> you may notice I've got images of Italian dining. I've got the Italian colors everywhere. This is all we ever get about Santorini's, so far as I know. I'm pretty certain there's no other little bit. Uh, we know The only thing we know about Santorini's is that they do cheesecake. That's it. That's all we know about Santorini's. They do it with the cheesecake. Italians speak with their hands. Ask Marcello. Marcello, I'm so sorry about this video. I'm pretty sure you are Italian, aren't you? If I apologize even more if I'm wrong there. I'm pretty sure Marcelo. Go check out his channel, by the way, Marcelo. And um, yes, once again, my my deepest apologies, but I can't that out for myself. <laughs> I just can't stop. So what's happened is Jake's come home and they're having a nice family meal. And because his dad's been left to do the cooking, he called up and got things delivered. Specifically, Gourmet Express. Which I find strange because he then says that they got cheesecake from Santorini's, not Gourmet Express, so they got the bulk of the actual main dinner from somewhere else, Gourmet Express, and they got dessert separately. Which makes me wonder if Santorini's is actually a restaurant, a takeaway, a corner shop? I don't know. I simply don't know. But apparently Tom likes the cheesecake so much that he says he will grovel, he will beg for cheesecake. But also it sounds very sarcastic, meaning that maybe the cheesecake isn't so great. It's just, this is the biggest mystery in Animorphs. What on earth is going on there here? Does it count as racist doing an Italian accent like that? I think it might be. I'm, I'm gonna stop. <laughs> I'm gonna stop. I'm embarrassing myself. Wouldn't be the first time. Th then there's a problem though. And it's, it's a big problem because when I found out that I was going to be doing Santorini's, I initially thought Santorini sounds Italian. Hence the Italian dining, the Italian colors, white, green, and red. There's a problem because when I typed in Santorini into Google, <laughs> I got a Greek village, a pretty famous Greek village after all. So that I thought, is Santorini a Greek name? Is this a Greek restaurant slash diner slash takeaway slash local eatery establishment of any kind? So I looked up it as a surname because it's Santorini's as if it belongs to a man or person called Santorini. And there aren't many Santorini's in the world. Predominantly, they're in Italy, but there's also a dense population of Santorini's in Greece. So it doesn't solve my problem at all. <laughs> but then, the biggest evidence, and it's, it's in the cheesecake. 
The evidence is in the cheesecake. Where does cheesecake come from? Where was cheesecake invented? Who bringeth forth this? Le cheese cake. It was the Greeks. The cheesecake was invented in the Greece. I apologize to any Greeks watching. <laughs> Why am I laughing? I apologize to any... <laughs> Shut up, Fluffer. Have you seen Fluffer here, by the way? Fluffer, you blend into the background because you're black and white. And there's white light and black desk. You're blending in. So I think I've solved the mystery and I'm gonna have to make some changes around here. Santorini. There's you. What a lovely village. And then we're gonna change you. And we're gonna change you and all. There we go, we're, we're Greece now. <laughs> and not the musical. So I've made, a dis I've made a huge discovery today that Santorini's probably Greek. And it's because of the cheesecake. The next mystery is, is the cheesecake any good? <laughs> Someday we might find out, but I'm pretty sure Santorini's is completely fictional, so good luck getting there. You know, you might go search on Google Maps, but I'm not sure how far you'll get. Why is the white on my lights? Why does it look why does it look blue? That's yellow. That's apparently white, but it looks blue. That's blue. That's slightly lighter blue. That's slightly lighter blue. And that's apparently white. Whatever. Greece, just change your flag to solid blue. I can't be buggered with this anymore. So uh, yeah, Santorini's. This has been an analysis. What's next in analysis? Wheel of names. Okay, so we've got the the wheel of fortune. -ness -ness. So now that we've covered Santorini's. What's next on the spin the wheel of fortuitousness? It's going to be, please something good. <laughs> uh, whatever, the, Durain 344. That's a yerk. That's a yerk name. And I'm pretty sure she's from book eight. And I say she because I'm pretty sure. We'll find out. We'll find out who Durain 344 is, okay? Thank Christ it's not another Santorini's. <laughs> Thank you for watching, if you're still here. If you are, you're probably asleep. So enjoy the rest of your slumber. I shall see you for the next episode on Analysis, somewhere else in the Analyst universe. Say bye, Fluffer. Tara.